Rolling with Nat 20. I'm Nat 20. And we're back. Long awaited backness. I had such plans, viewers. I had such plans. There were supposed to be episodes uploaded while I was gone on my trip. But unfortunately, my internet for my entire apartment went out about a week before the trip. And while sorting all that out, apparently the internet for just my computer went out via. Uh, my Wi-Fi connector just died on me. So I busted out an Ethernet cable and I got internet again. Just took a while. And I wasn't able to get stuff out during my break like I wanted to during my vacation. And it was upsetting. But I'm back now. Back for more episodes of Keeper RL and Citizens of Earth. And as you notice, some episodes of Citizens of Earth have already come up because I did have a couple episodes already recorded before my trip. And I just didn't have the opportunity to put them up. So, we will do a little bit of adventuring today. Perhaps in the future we'll try out a couple more dungeons. And if we do, we're going to investigate traps. You might hear the storm in the background. There's a storm going on outside. It's kind of thundery. And in about a month or so, the end of June, we're going to be seeing a huge overhaul to this game. And I'm excited to investigate the differences that we find in the future. But for now, everything's kind of about how we remember it. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody suggested to me that I should that I should take uh the fire spell when I'm the keeper and just go burn down the elf town. It seems like somebody here might have already done that. Does not seem like a bad idea either. There's not a whole lot here for me. Oh, I just realized I don't even have a bow. I have to find myself a bow. That's okay. Equip that. Equip this. Equip that. Equip this. And drop that. I really do need a bow, but I'm, the elf town feels like the right place for me to probably just find a stray bow. There we go. There's a stray bow. Equip that. And a scroll of teleport. Could be pretty helpful in a sticky situation. Healing potions are always nice. Keep myself alive. No telling how built up the keeper's forces are gonna be here. Probably pretty strong. Obviously, it's a keeper that has taken over all of the land, burned down many of the buildings of the elves. What do we got in here? Just some empty chests. Chests could be useful. Not if they're full of rats, though. Rat chests aren't useful at all. Rats don't provide enough experience to be useful. They're just kind of annoying. What do we got? What do we got? It's very unlikely something's going to get the jump on me just out in the wild. Very unlikely. Possible. But unlikely. The evil is to the northwest. So, we know roughly where we need to go to find a keeper. But we really don't have all that much. And then again, the keeper's home is where all of the goodies are likely to be since the keeper has cleared out the world. The keeper, will I be able to defeat you and save this land from your tyranny? Or will I die? and my honorable attempts. Ominous thunder crashing. I wonder if my mic's even going to pick that up. Probably. It's pretty loud. I don't need a magic mushroom. Apply it. Everything becomes keepers. They're everywhere. Alright, there was a rat that I released earlier. 
It's kind of chilling. So I'm hitting the northwest pretty hard. I don't see a keeper though. Or a dungeon. Now I do. Some eyeballs. Some miscellaneous rock sitting out. Couple. It's not precarious. That doesn't suggest that there's going to be boulders here at all. The amulet of warning vibrates vigorously. Ooh, is there going to be a back entrance of some sort? I really don't want to mess with this, uh, door. Alright, you know what? We'll take this amulet of healing versus amulet of warning. We don't need all this warning. What we do need is a lot of healing. Alright, so, we should here. Bash the door, bash, 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 bash. The Skelstro is a small humanoid with two arms, two legs, it is strong, agile, and slow, and there are boulders not coming at me. That boulder's not coming at me. Get out of the way of the boulder. Ha ha ha. Yeah, boulders can't roll backwards. Oh, it's a poison gas! Uh, apply a poison resistance. You drink a potion of poison resistance, you are now poison resistance, your bleeding stops. Boulder starts rolling. Let's tag out of the way over there. Slip behind it. And now we got a vampire to deal with. But I think we're out of the realm of traps. What do you mean I need a ranged weapon? I have one. Equip it, yo. And shoot the vampire. Shoot him good. Uh, this vampire is uh, going to be a little tricksy. A little less defense than us, but the same amount of offense. I might need to become invisible. Step out of the way. Trigger another poison gas. Attack while I'm invisible. Swing the battle axe, but the vampire is not hurt, and the vampire misses me because I'm invisible. Swing the battle axe, and the vampire is still not hurt, but I am wounded. I'm not supposed to get wounded when I'm invisible. Let's apply this. Stop being wounded. Use my invisibility for some healing. Alright, well, let's just toss some arrows in there. Get the zombie. Right, zombie, which is more threatening, the zombie or the orc? The orc, by a lot! How is this orc so strong? Whoa! Whoa, that orc is too powerful! You missed the orc, the orc swings his great battle axe, the cut is harmless, the orc strings his great battle axe again because he's fast enough to attack me twice, you are critically wounded and stunned. During my stunning, I am bleeding. And while I'm stunned, the orc swings his battle axe again and critically wounds me again, stunning me again. Then the zombie tries to take a bite, but doesn't really do much. Bleeding, orc swings his battle axe again, cutting off my leg, and I collapse. For a werewolf to come up and punch me in the face for my death. Interesting. The werewolf punches you. You die. Well. We will not be taking over land dude from this keeper. Not this time. But... Maybe we will have better luck in a different land. Whoosh. I don't know what I picked. But hopefully we'll be able to survive this one. That was part of the problem. I couldn't record Keeper RL episodes because I couldn't load maps and stuff. So even though I was having spotty internet, it wasn't enough. Beware of the orcs. No shit, that one orc was so powerful. Alright, but right here we get some... Excellent, excellent things. Oh yeah, oh yeah, who knows what dropped all this, but... Get legendary battle axe, and... Amulet of defense, and double poison resistance. Oh yeah, it's awesome. Alright. And I got no arrows for this though, so I'm gonna have to get some arrows. Ooh, bring a fire resistance. Let's equip that. One poison, one fire. And this chainmail is better than this leather. And this chainmail is better than this chainmail. I'll take this handy little warning just for, for funsies. Gorg. Oh, wow, lots of stuff here. 
Potion of Slowness. Yup. What else do we got? Anything I need? Iron Boots. Yup. Equip those Iron Boots. Wonderful pile of goodies. Ooh. Amulet of Healing. Could be helpful. Amulet of Defense, I think, is better, though. Actually. Why heal after you're damaged when you can just prevent the damage in the first place? Potion of Healing. Alright, we might stand a better chance here because though there's a lot more destruction and death here, it seems like a lot less of it has been cleaned up. There's a lot of goodies just hanging out everywhere. Unopened chests. Uh, unmurdered rats. A lot of unmurdered rats. All of the unmurdered rats. And a potion of blindness. Yeah. They did come and get the money. Not that it matters, because they probably killed all of the shopkeepers. So the money is just for fun. Ooh, some more chests. I bet one of them's at least rats. Insects. Oh no, money. No rats. No rats in those chests. I think we're done here. Oh, look at all the rats. Oh, there's rats in here too. Fortunately. Rats don't give much experience at all. I forgot that I can hide. I forgot all about that. I need to get better at remembering what I'm capable of doing. I can't hide there, but I can hide in a tree. Or what else I can hide in? wonder what benefits hiding can give me. Well, of course it's going to be east. I'm at the western wall. But north is good to know. What kind of mushroom magic? I don't need your magic mushrooms. They don't do anything for me but provide fun and not enough of it to be worth it. What kind of mushroom are you? Also magic. Somewhere... Oh, alright, well we got an eyeball up there. That is an interesting little entrance. Uh, let's go check it out because that down there looks trapped to the teeth. Uh-huh, it's nothing. Can I just hide in here? No. Can I hide on the wall? No. Looks like I really gotta be like in a bush or something, so that doesn't do me a whole heck of a lot of good. There are no bushes in the keeper's lair. Holy crap! Somebody is in love with boulders. Someone just loves all the boulders. I need to make this boulder roll the right way or it will crush me. Go. Sidestepping boulders. Oh, poison. But I got poison resistance. Yeah, I'll drink a potion for that too. Why not? Oh, oh, a harpy's gonna come out and say, hey, throw a potion of poison. The potion is harmless because I'm immune to poison, you dumbass harpy. Didn't you see me drink the potion and walk through the cloud? My cut is harmless, but that one's not. That cut is super not harmless. That cut cuts the harpy in half, but another harpy runs up to be cut in half as well. Ooh, a werewolf wants some battling too. What's a succubus doing coming out here to battle me? Succubus, you stand no chance. That werewolf was murdered. Great battle axe. Don't, you don't get to escape, werewolf. I will shoot an arrow at you, and the werewolf will die. Alright, orc. How powerful are you? You're a weak little orc. The other orc was way more powerful than I expected. What about you, vampire? You're kind of a powerful vampire. Let us sidestep a little. And summon some insects. Get that orc. Get that orc. Get that orc. Get that orc. Oh no! I didn't mean to walk into that. Oh. Sadness. Vampire swings his battle axe. I am critically wounded. 
I chop. He chops off my head. He's just like, "Watch out! Two two hacks, and my head comes off." Well, we got to sidestep a lot of boulders there. Ah, well, that seems like a pretty good lazy keeper RL run for being back from my trip. Sorry again, everybody, that I wasn't able to have stuff uploaded during my trip, but I'm back now, and we got Alpha 15. 14 kind of snuck in there sneakily through the Steam Early Access updates. But Alpha 15 is going to be a major overhaul of the game, and we have that to look forward to in the next month or so. End of June is when it's advertised. So we'll see when we get it. But it sounds exciting. Biggest change so far is there's going to be a system that makes sure that you don't have a ridiculous amount of minions that no longer incorporates the salary system. So we're going to be rid of the salary system and instead more have like a minion cap, kind of like uh, an Age of Empires sort of deal. Anyway, you've been rolling with Nat20. I'm Nat20. This is Keeper RL, and we're back. Bye.